Okay, we have now got the water into the um, into the pitcher, and uh, we will be pouring the water into the uh, coffee maker. But we are using the Black and Decker four four in one five cup coffee maker, and now the water is already in the um, in the coffee maker. The coffee grinds are now in the filter, so let's go ahead and uh, fix up the cones. Most people only use either the permanent filter or one filter, but I'm using two filters just to see how much debris or how much sediments I will get off the coffee beans. So next step, we are making our coffee. We're putting the filter cones as well as the, um, the permanent cone inside the coffee maker to brew ourselves a nice fresh cup of coffee. Pouring the counter, I just got finished painting. That's why the counter looks the way it is. Well, let's go ahead and have a fresh pot of coffee, nice and hot and fresh. I have now taken the coffee filters, as well as the, the filter, the primary filter that had the coffee beans in it, or the coffee grinds. And this is actually what it looks like uh, without the proper filtering system, all the grinds, and oil that's are in the beans goes directly into the coffee pot and, or a cup and we don't even know it's going into there. So be careful. Let's have a nice fresh cup of coffee. It's been uh, filtering twice, so nice and hot and fresh. And also as well, again, this has been how to make a good pot of coffee using the Black & Decker 4-in-1 Coffee Maker. And if you want to like and subscribe, leave comments, and, uh, and more videos to follow.